you are leaving tomorrow morning. Now I got nothing against you personally, but you're wanted by the authorities. You're a bad influence in this household, in my opinion. Well, ma'am, we sure didn't mean to influence anybody. And if we did, ma'am, we, we apologize. I'm going to town tomorrow to see about some shots for the baby. When I come back, you better be gone or I'll kick you out myself. What's he need, his dip tat? I'm awfully sorry, boys, but when Ed gets mad, you know, she gets an idea. Well, there anything to apologize for, H.I.? Seems pretty clear what the situation is here. Yeah. I guess the missus wants us to clear out. Now, H.I., you pardon me for saying so, I get the feeling that this here ain't exactly working out. Edwina is generally a real sweetheart. And as per usual, I wouldn't be surprised if the source of the marital friction weren't financial. As a matter of fact, I did lose my job today. Oh, hi. You're young and you got your health. What you want with the job? But I'd rather light a candle than curse your darkness. Now, as you know, Evel here and I don't go anywhere without there's purpose. And here we are in your little domicile. We come to invite you in our little score, huh? A bank HI. Come on now. <laughs> I know your partial convenience stores, but damn it, HI. Sun don't rise and sell on the corner grocery. It's like Doc Schwartz says, you gotta have a little bit of ambition. We just watching on the news? Somebody went and snatched up one of them Arizona babies. Christ's sakes. Now that there, somebody thinking big. Now here you are, sitting on your butt playing house with a... Now don't get me wrong, H.I. with a fine woman, but a woman who needs one of them button-down types. I don't particularly think that's any of your business. Hold on, H.I. Now look at there. That there's a picture of El Dorado, huh? Though the locals call it the Farmers and Mechanics Bank of LaGrange. Looks like a hayseed bank and... Tell you the truth, it is a hasty bank. Except for the last Friday of every financial quarter, there's more cash in that bank than there are flies at a barbecue. And guess what day it is tomorrow? When all the hay seeds come together and they cash their farm subsidies checks. Hey, one information, huh? Got in the joint from a man named Lawrence Spivey, one of Dick Nixon's under Secretary of Agriculture. He's in for soliciting sex from a state trooper. Ordinarily, we don't associate with that type of person, but uh, he was trying to make a few brownie points with some of the boys. <laughs> Boys, I can't. Hi. Now we need someone handy with the scouting gun, covering them hay seeds, while we go in there and get that cash. You understand, H.I.? If this works out, it's, it's just the beginning of a spree that could cover the entire Southwest proper, and we keep going until we can retire. Or we get caught. Either way, we fixed for life. Boys, it's a kind offer, but... So you're suggesting I just up and leave Ed? Now that'd be pretty damn cowardly, wouldn't it? Would it? Think about it, H.I. Seems to me, sitting here, you ain't doing her any good. And you ain't being true to your own nature. <laughs>